The barber's shop is opposite my house. I keep looking over to see if there is a queue. I'm sure I saw a customer go in, but he hasn't left yet. Maybe he went out the back, if there is a back. I decided to chance it, and I got lucky. Only the barber was there. He signalled to me to sit on the chair, then said, Yes, boss, to which I replied, The usual, please, short back and sides, number two on the sides, and do you mind not tidying up with the razor this time? It gives me a bit of a rash. Sure thing, big man. My barber is a cool guy. He collects vintage Air Jordans and has a very distinct style. He always calls me Big Man, even though I'm five foot four. However, we quickly run out of things to talk about. Sometimes I pretend I have work to do, and I look at my phone. This is how I'm typing this up now, as he cuts my hair. Big Man, you're looking pretty strong. Have you been working out? Not going to lie, I like the look of those muscles. Yeah, I've got a personal trainer now. Thanks for noticing. This was the first compliment he paid me today. He holds my ear back to trim around it. His hands are cold. And I've never noticed your eyes before. Such a nice blue. Thank you. That last comment jarred a bit. Was he getting fresh with me? I was flattered but not interested. That's when I saw something strange in the mirror. My blood ran cold. About ten feet away is the store cupboard which had been left open ajar. Inside was a dead body, all beat up and bloodied. A thousand thoughts ran through my mind. I've been getting my hair cut here for a while, but I don't know my barber's name. If he's the killer, then I'm in a very vulnerable position here. You've got quite a large cranium. It's a joy to work with. Must be some serious brains in there. Thank you. Yeah, I've been told I'm quite smart. I decided the best thing to do would be to pretend I hadn't noticed. Just let him finish the cut and then leave. I tried to look straight ahead and not to the corner of the mirror from which the body was visible, but my eyes were ineluctably drawn to it. I could now see the body was wearing a pair of classic Air Jordans. I made eye contact with the barber. He blinked, but it was a strange blink almost like the eyelids were coming in from the sides instead of top and bottom. He's almost finished now. Even though I asked for him not to, he's grabbing the razor. Please, no razor. It gives me a rash. Sorry, big man. This is how it has to be. I better post this now, in case I don't make it. He's holding my head still with one hand and eyeing up my throat with his horrible reptilian eyes. Help me!